Hi everyone, uh, my name is Yuan Hua Ding. I'm a crystallographer by training. I worked uh, at Pfizer uh, for about 20 plus years uh, in early drug discovery and research. My first 10 years at Pfizer were mostly involved in structure-based drug design. And my uh, last 10 years at Pfizer were uh, involved in uh, managing academic, biotech and pharma collaborations more on the innovation side in the Asia Pacific region. Well, there are many difficult parts in drug R&D. Uh, start from, you know, identify the right target uh, for the right indication in the right patient population is, is critical. The second, probably once you have a target, how quickly identify uh, leading molecules, whether small molecular antibodies and quickly advance those to preclinical or clinical stage. And in the process, make sure that you, know, you have a safe compound with good efficacy, but also test the compound in a more translationable animal models that you know what you get in your preclinical -pre study will be, uh, uh, can be realized in, uh, in more clinical settings. I mean, sometimes uh, it is not just novel target, it's also whether you can find a proper uh, compound you know, with safety, good safety drug-like profile, right? Uh, you know, very rare these days people identify new, totally, you know, novel target because everyone, you know, look at the you know, same literature, same database, it's hard to come up with a new target. Most of the time, uh, old target, but difficult to drug. And gradually with technology involvement, people are able to find uh, proper, uh, right compound or suitable compound uh, with the right profile and efficacy uh, for those targets. But there are times, you know, you come up with uh, some new target ideas. Uh, for example, you know, you, if you look at uh, 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 immuno-oncology, right, pdl one is a novel therapy, but the target is known for many years. For example, you know, uh, Jack, uh, PD, uh, you know, anti-PD-1, anti-PD-1 anti therapy, uh, the target are known for many years, and people tried initial immuno-oncology work didn't yield the right result uh, or, or, or the result people were looking for. As the knowledge evolved and new models and, and new ways to look at uh, immune response, people realized that, uh, you know, uh, uh, there are different ways to handle it. So, and then, you know, uh, now, you know, 10 years, 20 years later, you find the right uh, compound for, for, for the target. The same thing with like JAK inhibitors, right? Probably more relevant to the IPF target you guys are talking about here. That is, a, you know, that class people have been pursuing for many years, probably take 10, 20, 10 to 15 years for the first compound, which was by Pfizer, uh, brought as the first compound into the market, then more people are, are following. So I hope that gives you a feeling. It, it's all about speed and differentiation. Uh, again, you know, not knowing your molecular and all the data is hard for me to comment, but I think uh, uh, it's amazing that, uh, it, is, it is amazing that uh, uh, you guys are able, were able to identify you know, a good target and, and quickly generate uh, leading molecules and prove that those molecules are uh, promising and you put effort to bring that to the PCC stage. It, it's a good achievement. These days, uh, these days is uh, harder and harder to identify. As you, you know, you asking or you, you looking, harder and harder to find uh, new target ideas, or you know, find a better molecule with existing target or target that were hard to drug in the past. I think AI as one of the technologies definitely will be very helpful uh, to help incorporate uh, mind data and incorporate different information from different. Uh, areas to help drug design. It is a, it's an important tool going to stay with drug discovery, whether it is for target identification, for lead generation, or for you know, predicting the right uh, talks or admin profile, or placing uh, you know, design biomarkers or 
help design uh, clinical trials. So it's an important tool. I think it, it will stay with us. You have to wait for clinical results.